past couple of months, we've seen an onslaught of new wearable technology products. We went from Google Glass being one of a kind in a world of smartphones and tablets, to having lineups of smartwatches from Samsung, Pebble, Motorola, LG, Qualcomm, and all of the others. So wearables are becoming more and more common. Today let's take a look at just how useful they can be in everyday situations. So let's start with Google Glass, the device that started the wave of wearables. Fortunately, my friend Eric here owns a pair, which I'm wearing right now. Eric is a network engineer, a programmer, and a musician, and you can check out his website linked in the description. In the car, the most useful function of Glass in my experience is navigation. Glass connects to your phone via Bluetooth and uses it to get its location and data to plan your route. It turns on the screen only when alerting you of a turn or a change in direction. That way, it's a lot less distracting than a mounted GPS might be. Glass's functionality doesn't stop there. You can send and receive texts, control and listen to music, browse the web, check your schedule, play some games, or even call your contacts. It only supports 10 contacts being the developer edition, but it also has a camera that takes 5 megapixel pictures and records 720p video. Here are a few examples. Okay Glass, take a picture. Glass has a lot of uses, and although it may not seem like much, remember, it's a brand new technology, and its app base isn't nearly as large as the App Store or the Google Play Store. It's well designed and fairly comfortable, but with its lack of a decent battery life and $1,500 price tag, I wouldn't recommend picking one up just yet. With some price reduction and more development in the app department, Glass could be the wearable technology that we've been waiting for but I don't think it's ready just yet. But wearables have come far from just glasses. We now have tons of smartwatch options, including some from Pebble, which Eric also happens to have. This is the Pebble smartwatch. While it doesn't take pictures or play music, it does direct you in traffic, show your SMS notifications, emails, and even calendar events. You can control the music coming from your smartphone and even answer phone calls, though it has no microphone or speaker. The average battery life in my experience is anywhere from four to six days, and it easily charges in just two to three hours. Oh, it's delicious. Now wearables still have a ways to go before they become everyday accessories, but we've already seen some vast improvement in just a few short years. So for the future, I think wearables are gonna become a really big deal.